today is the G-Wagon Takeover. I'm presenting to you these vehicles courtesy of our friends at Mayfair Autos. I will be showing you around and hopefully I get to drive the 2022 model of the Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG. It comes in obsidian black with a two-tone black and red interior. Okay, now if you're a car enthusiast, you already know that the standard AMG package you get on the front fascia of the car are the vertical AMG badge slats. It's a Pan Americana grille and um, it's basically part of the distinguishing features of an AMG car. When you get an AMG, you want everyone to know it is an AMG. Um, obviously you have uh, these round signature LED multi-beam headlamps which are also very adaptive and sensitive so if you're in driving at night time and you have an oncoming vehicle the beam reduces to reduce glare to the oncoming driver and once they're out of the way and you turn it um, comes back up um, yeah I mean have a look at that so should we go to the side or should we go in the bonnet I think we're going to look at what makes the car tick first of all let's get straight into the brain box or the heart box it's arguable which one it is but we're going to pop the hood Look at that even a novice can open this easy to open bonnet now look at this what you have inside here is the brain box now there's brain box in cars but I don't mean the brain box like that what I mean is that this is the brain of the car the heart and soul of the car the engine now what you get in the 2022 G63 AMG is a bi-turbo V8 4 litre engine that will give you about 577 horsepower it will give you also um, 627 pound feet of torque or 580 newton meters of torque however you want to measure it that's what it will give you it will take you from 0 to 60 in about 3.9 seconds so I mean it's an incredibly huge car and just to put it into perspective this car weighs about 5,800 pounds. So for it to move from zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds, that is extremely impressive. Might I also add that you do have a nine speed automatic gear transmission in this bad boy beast. All right, now starting from the side of the car, you have these exposed indicators, um, which is part of, I guess, the signature look to the G-Wagon series of cars. Um, now this line across here actually does serve a purpose. This line indicates the depth of water which this vehicle can drive through before you get in trouble. So if you find your water here, you don't enter, you don't enter um, cruise control and not the kind of cruise that you think we're talking about. So again, you can't miss the AMG badge in, of course, V8 by turbo engine. Um, you also have the body colored side mirrors which are automatic with the um, integrated heat and LED indicators on the side. Um, the really, really aggressive wheels. So let's have a look at this. Now the G63 2022 model, you can go up to 22 inches. This specific um, rims, I believe are 21 inches. You have the forged alloy wheels and you have the option to have it matte black from factory or you can have it with a gloss finish. You have the red calipers in there. The brake calipers will probably give you about six pistons on the front and you have the ventilated 14.8 inch ventilated disc at the front and um, a solid 13 inch um, disc at the back. Obviously you can see that it's quite an elevated car and that's something that you expect from an SUV because you go over all types of terrain. I am looking forward to getting on this car and driving around and just telling you a little bit about how it drives and how it feels. But um, let's get around to the back. Now, I think this is probably one of the most distinguishing features of the car. You do have many SUVs that have the spare tire, but there's just something about the way it looks on the Mercedes-Benz G63. It's just like a badge of honor. All right, now this is the fifth door. It's a rear tailgate, it's a side opening mechanism, and it's a beautiful inside, beautiful luxury finishing. Now this beast can tow up to 6,500 pounds. It has that capacity. Now you have this beautiful two-tone um, interior, this fabric and um, I think this is Alcantara, which is a really durable, not quite leather, but a very, very durable material. Now, 
that's one of the signature sounds of a G-Wagon. If you want to know a G-Wagon, you have the, you need that heavy closing door. There's just something about it. Okay, now you have the stainless steel side steps and also you can't ignore the fact that you have the side mounted exhaust pipes. So they've moved it around from the rear to the sides. And I think that's quite, it gives it quite a nice distinctive touch. Now, you probably would have noticed some stickers around the car because it literally just landed in Lagos. And this is one of the most popular cars in Dubai. And I think now is a good time for me to get inside and show you inside the car, the interior and exactly what you'd be getting in the 2022 G-Wagon. It's a G63 AMG. All right, now I love the interior of this car. You have the signature AMG steering wheel, which has the Alcantara um, black and the black um, finishing. It's black and a you have the aluminium. I think that that's something that you get when you pay for luxury. Now I did mention that it's the two-tone interior. So you've got the black and the red perforated leather. You have some lovely carbon fiber detailing. Um, I mean, it's just got so much luxurious soft finishings inside it. Obviously you can't escape this. Um, I don't know if this is stainless steel or aluminium, but it's um, quality, you can actually feel it in the vents, like they're really heavy in metal. Um, it does have the digital instrument display, which I'll switch on in a second. Now, one thing I will point out is that the G-Wagon has a watchmaker clock. Do you understand that? So let me explain it to you. IWC is actually a watchmaker and they make some of the best Swiss and watches are they swiss or french or german they're european watchmakers they're one of the best in the world I, I wouldn't be surprised if the 2023 model has a rolex inside it but iwc is probably one of the foremost um, watchmakers in the world and the uh timepiece in here is actually created by iwc that's impressive um can't forget you've got the ball master um, audio surround sound system you have heated and cooling seats memory function and I like the fact that the, the controls for the seats are actually really handy and quite close to hand. It's all been configured in a way that's really, really comfortable and practical. Um, can't tell you how chuffed I am about the air vents because that's just, when you're wearing a lot of makeup, you know how it is ladies, you need to stay really cool and it's uh, really, really hot out here in Lagos. Um, what else can I tell you about this car? I do like the fact that you have a panoramic sunroof, which of course you can close at will, reading lights, uh, because sometimes you'll need to read in the car or look at things that might not necessarily have their own inbuilt lighting system if you know what I mean no you don't um, I think what's left now is what else are we going to look at okay now I'll say one thing I am an Android user an avid Android user and I have an iPhone and one of the things I like about this car is the fact that you can actually um, charge your phone using the old USB um, cable system which is inside it now obviously I'm gonna give myself away this is an iPhone charger and this is an Android so I don't know how that would charge that but yeah that's that you also have an SD card reader in it now I'm trying to I'm going to switch on the Bluetooth on this and switch on my phone because I think that would be nice to have some music for my drive if possible there's so much of this car. I mean, I'm just taking it all in. It's so luxurious. It's really spacious. The headroom as well is actually quite impressive. So if you're really tall, I don't think you'll be disappointed. What else can I point out to this car? With the rear seats up, you'll have about 38 cubic feet of cargo space, folding them down with a 60-40 split. That provides nearly 69 cubic feet of cargo space behind the first row, which is about 68.6 cubic feet. On this G63, you also get a 12 inch digital instrument panel, along with your infotainment screen, which is also another 12 inches. Um, so it's all digital um, infotainment and interaction. Now, one thing I did observe about this car is that you don't, it's not a touch screen. You can only interact with the um, controls on the infotainment system from this panel here and also from the controls on the steering wheel. Now you also have the steering wheel mounted um, shift paddles for controlling the gear and the different gear settings. Now as standard with all the new Mercedes vehicles you have ambient lighting which you can set to your 
taste. I think at this point, the next thing will be to go for a drive. So let's do that. controlling a lot of power and given the sheer weight and size of this vehicle the handling actually is adjustable so you can adjust the handling settings on the car all right well i think i've shown you everything that you need to see um, the car is brand spanking new it still has the stickers from the the customs clearance as it just arrived in lagos this car is a jjc if you are interested and you'd like to own this bad boy get in touch with mayfair autos until next time be good stay out of trouble